Uses for Mooses and Other Popular Pets by Mike Thaler, illustrated by Jerry Smith. I've never read this book before. There are many uses for mooses. For instance, they make good, good hat racks, Christmas trees, kind of like the book we read in the Christmas time, Mooseltoe, and good left fielders, because uh, they can catch all those fly balls. They also make good beach chairs and snow shovels. Ooh. Now, if you happen to have a hippopotamus as a pet, they make terrific trash cans, yes, and bookends and baby carriages. <laughs> and if you own an alligator, they make fine hedge clippers. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Staplers. See you later, alligator band and musical instruments. Most elephants make good squirt guns. With their long trunks and balloons if you fill them with helium. Now giraffes make super slides, their long necks, and help you to see the parades because you can climb all the way up top on their neck. See everything below. While octopuses make good traffic cops. Stop, go, one way, yield, pull over. And string quartets. And kangaroos make good basketball hoops. And letter carriers. Beavers make good ping pong paddles, coasters, and serving trays. Ha. Very creative uses for these animals. You can send signals with rabbits, use camels for couches, and anteaters for vacuum cleaners. You can use polar bears for snowmen in the summertime, monkeys for coat hangers, and umbrellas too, swordfish for darts, and whales for drinking fountains. Everybody's lining up on the back of the whale. So as you can see, there are many uses for mooses and other popular pets. When you use your imagination. So they imagined all these different uses they could use with these animals. Um, you know, coat hangers and little darts, a polar bear in snow time. The giraffe was a nice big super slide or the whale for the drinking fountain. So they got creative and I really liked their creative ones with the uses for mooses right at the beginning because they had hat racks and a decorated Christmas tree. So for reading journal today, we're gonna pick one of the animals. You can pick one from the story or you can use your imagination to think of any use for a, another pet. Find your reading journal that has the sticker open to the very next page. Yesterday we did um, the page about the pet story. So today uses for other popular pets. Think of one of the ones from the story that you thought was really creative or something else that comes to mind. This is your choice. So, and draw a picture of which one was either your favorite or you thought was really fun. So I'm going to do the, I'm gonna try to draw. Let me see if you can guess. I'm going to draw the anteater for a vacuum cleaner. But I did like a few other ones. So you're just going to pick which one you like. They have a long nose. Crayon.
<laughs> He's using his nose to help vacuum. So I'm going to just write, I liked the ant eater. Period. You get to pick which one. And make sure you have your grown up date it today. It's March 3rd. And it's from the uses for mooses and other popular pets. So this is all the crumbs, the vacuum. He's using it as a vacuum. Hope I spelled vacuum right. Might have to double check that. Clean up all that mess. And that is what you're choosing. Pick any from our fun story that we read today. And we will talk about that meeting.